All right, we're going to write um, linear equations from situations, and that just means um, from, from word problems. Okay, so a linear equation means it's going to make a line, and the way that we write our linear equations is y is equal to mx plus b. You've seen this before. The m is for the slope, and the b is for the y-intercept. So all you need to do from the problem is find the slope and the y-intercept. So the first one here, the race begins at a rate of 1.5 meters per second. What is the distance D? Um, what distance D is covered after T seconds? <clears throat> okay, so since we're multiplying here, that's our slope. Our slope is 1.5. Our y-intercept is zero because there's nothing here that tells us that we start at a different spot. Okay, so our equation would be y is equal to a slope of 1.5x and then we don't have to write plus zero because it doesn't um, matter. But now they want it with D and T instead of um, Y and X. So what distance is covered after T seconds? Well, <clears throat> here's our seconds. We're multiplying by our seconds. So this would be the 1.5 times T, and that's going to equal to the distance. So they both say the same thing. They're just using different variables. <clears throat> All right, then example two, 50 azalea plants arrive at a florist shop on the first day of the week. After that, they arrive at an average of 75 plants per day. How many plants will be in the shop after T days? Um, so we start with 50. 50 arrive first. So 50 is our y-intercept. That's where we start, where we begin. And um, 75 plants per day is my slope. So my y is going to equal to 75x plus 50. <clears throat> but they want us to use t for days. Do they give us another variable? How many plants will be after, at the shop after t days? All right, so we um, are multiplying. So I guess probably p was supposed to be plants. So we'll say p for plants is equal to 75 t plus 50 after t days because we're multiplying per day all right <clears throat> so go ahead and pause the video and you work number three and then check it all right so number three greta makes clay mugs and bowls as gifts at the crafty studio she pays a membership fee of fifteen dollars a month and an equipment fee of three dollars an hour to use the potter's wheel table and kiln write an equation to calculate her monthly cost so we're calculating the monthly cost so this is fifteen a month and this is three dollars an hour but since we're just doing this for a month that's going to be my um y-intercept the fifteen and the three dollars will be my slope and then you just put it in 3x plus 15. 